if you've never driven a great handling car, it might be difficult to understand. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata Grand Touring. So let's get right to it. Standard features on this snowflake white pearl Mazda MX-5 Miata Grand Touring include 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in 205, 45 series high performance tires, dual exhaust with bright outlets, aluminum hood and trunk, heated power side mirrors, rain sensing windshield wipers, and LED headlights, daytime running lights, and LED combination taillights too. Inside, you find a leather wrapped steering wheel with audio and tilt and telescoping features, Bluetooth and cruise controls, as well as a leather wrapped shift knob and parking brake handle, heated leather trim sports seats, Bose 9 speaker audio with HD radio, 7 inch color touchscreen with Mazda navigation, multifunction commander control, automatic air conditioning, mesh aero board, a newly added rear view camera, piano black seat back bar trim, carpeted floor mats, and advanced keyless entry with push button ignition. Safety features include blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, adaptive front lighting, rear cross traffic alert, high beam control, and the also newly added smart city brake support and traffic sign recognition. Now on to the options. First, there's the snowflake white paint and a new brown cloth convertible roof with liner. The Grand Touring package includes a limited slip differential with front shock tower brace as well as a sport tuned suspension with Bilstein shock absorbers. And the interior package adds alloy pedals, stainless door sill trim plates, and red engine oil cap with MX-5 logo. Total MSRP is $33,050. In case you didn't know, due to weight savings on brake rotors, suspension, the transmission, drive shaft, and AC, this 4th Gen Miata is 150 pounds lighter than the previous gen, and only 189 pounds heavier than the original. Oh, and this new brown top looks pretty good too. The trunk holds 4.59 cubic feet of cargo space, and while there still isn't a physical release on the trunk itself, that capacity is available whether the top is up or down. Possibly the most notable improvement of all is with the 2.0-liter 4-cylinder Skyactiv-G engine. It now makes 181 horsepower and 151 pound-feet of torque, up 26 horsepower and 3 pound-feet from last year. The revised engine now revs higher to 7,000 RPM, and a Skyactiv MT 6-speed manual transmission with a new lightweight dual-mass flywheel sends power to the rear wheels. 0 to 60 arrives a few tenths faster than before at a reported 5.7 seconds while also completing the quarter mile quicker in 14.4 seconds at 95.5 miles per hour. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 26 miles per gallon city, 34 miles per gallon highway with a combined rating of 29 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw an impressive 34.2 miles per gallon of top up driving on the recommended premium fuel. We must disclose that we did a bit more highway driving during testing. The Z-shaped soft top is manually operated and can be opened or closed in just seconds. While it looks really nice, I won't go into detail about the interior this time around because not much has changed since we reviewed it in 2016. There's a link in the description if you want to find out more though. So now it's time to take it out and see if that extra horsepower actually makes a difference. horsepower may not seem like much, but in a car that weighs only 2,700 pounds, it makes a difference. Zipping in and out of town just feels peppier, and I don't feel the need to downshift as much when passing on the highway. 
Not that I mind, since the transmission still feels great. The Bilstein shocks feel a bit choppy over rough roads, but they get the job done when you're having fun. And that's what this car is all about. It does lean a bit in the corners too, but the direct steering keeps things lively and enjoyable. The brake pedal is firm, and while the nose does dive a bit under heavy braking, they still feel fine. Though I would recommend the Brembo package if you plan to track it. Something else worth mentioning is that while commuting with the top up, the cabin does get a bit noisy. So I keep it down. Then blast the icy AC when it starts to get hot. In summary, if you're on the fence about buying one of these great convertibles, do it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So there you have it guys, the 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata Grand Tour. It was already an affordable great driving convertible, and now with the additional power and tech, it's just that much better. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who loves to drive with the wind in their hair. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris Model Academics, thanks for watching.